Well, when they get grandma, she left. That's good. It's birthday. It's grandma's birthday. I'll do you, Alright, we ready to sing? Alright. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandma. Happy birthday to you. Oh, no. This is a Oh, William, don't blow him. All right, Grandma, let's make a wish and blow out the candles. Don't tell anybody the wish. To someone very near to me and every day more dear to me. To a father, the finest in the land, who always standing ready to lend a helping hand. In recalling my babyhood days, my mind is somewhat hazy or I do not distinctly remember many events in the first years of my life. I was born on March 28, 1924 in Salt Lake City, Utah. At the time of my birth, my sister Rada Jane, who was to be the cause of many of my childhood worries, was three years older. She was unable to talk very plainly, therefore she called me Baba. It was from this source I received my name, Barbara. <laughs> I said very little until the age of two, and then one, one evening I started to talk continuously for an hour. <laughs> but the amazing thing was I spoke in complete sentences. This has so impressed my parents that it is still their favorite talk of my babyhood. My father's name is Ralph Taylor Richards. My mother's name is Rada Gibbs. Although I loved company, I was always very silent when around visitors. Sitting on my little chair, I would listen attentively to everything they would say. And after the guests had left, I would re repeat, repeat to my parents all that had been said. <laughs> I did not make friends with people unless they showed they were interested in me. During my younger days, I had a great dislike for people who talked too much. As the pride and joy of the Richards family grew older, life became more of a problem to her. A little girl I had a very generous nature. At the age of three, I did something that caused my mother much distress. One day, she discovered that her wedding ring, engagement ring, and dinner ring were all missing. <laughs> After searching everywhere for them, she questioned me, only to find that I had very generously distributed them among the children of the neighborhood. <laughs> oh my. With quite some difficulty, she finally regained position of the lost articles. Mm -hmm. 
Most of my summers were spent at a summer home in the Big Cottonwood Canyon. In the evenings, we used to go to, for automobile rides. When asked where I would go, like to go, I would reply, Daddy, let's get out of where the Wobbits won. I first made this statement many years ago, but since that time, my family has never failed to remind me of it. We had it at our summer home, a large swimming pool. During my first summer there, when I was learning how to swim, I did something that almost ended my days here on Earth. Thinking myself capable of swimming without the aid of water wings, I descended the steps at the pool one morning. It's not necessary to relate that what followed, but Mother pulled me out not a minute too soon. At the age of five, I started going to school. However, school did not appeal to me and I did not make many frequent visits. I was not until the first grade that my regular attendance at school began. My grammar school days passed with the usual amount of sorrow and happiness. My seventh grade in school, I moved to California. Those first few months I spent in Los Angeles are memorable ones. The school was enormous, and I knew no one. After a while, however, I began to get acquainted and did not feel so lonesome. My second and last year at school was very enjoyable. How well I remember those parties that led up the final great event, the day of my graduation. It was both sorrow and gladness I felt as I mounted the steps of the auditorium to receive my diploma. <laughs> After the excitement of being B-10 had worn off, I went to Salt Lake City to spend the month of August with my father. After a two-year absence, returning to the town where I had been reared was very exciting. That summer was one of the happiest and most interesting I have ever spent. <laughs>